Here's Ryan Bradley, who's going to celebrate his 26th birthday next week. And the Colorado Springs skater has been competing at the world level now for more than a decade. He was fourth at the U.S. Nationals last year and was ninth at his first Grand Prix event of the season. Skating to selections from the Amadeus soundtrack. And this is the skater when he is on, can light up the audience. And that's a favorite part for him about skating, is getting the audience engaged. One way to do it, four revolutions in the air. He'll, like everyone else, if it has a quad in the program, will do it early. One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> that was oh, nice. OK, that was good. <laughs> and he did it in a velvet jacket. Well, if that was good, one is good, two is better. Um, lining up for his second quad attempt. This one will need to be in combination. You're not allowed to repeat any jump in the program. Here we go. Oh, nice. Quad toe, double toe. And Ryan always looking for a way to get the audience into the, the show with him. I say show because life for him is one big party. And unlike almost every other competitor, his third element in this program is footwork, where most of the guys just keep jumping until they're tired. Skating at home, and you can hear the audience laughing and clapping along with him. When he uh, was at his first competition in France, he said he looked into the audience and made a gesture, and nobody responded. It responded. He said it threw him off his game plan. Big, big <laughs> fight at the end. He had no right to land that. <laughs> he reached a milestone last year, the second at Skate Canada's first Grand Prix medal. You know, it, there's an interesting little way that he fights and struggles through his jumps that make the audience go crazy. Doesn't make it look easy, he makes it look exciting. Has a lot of fun. And when you engage your audience as he does, it keeps it real and it keeps you in the moment. smirk on his face the whole time. It just keeps you grinning. Really slow going into that triple flip. And slow going into the triple loop as well, but he's able to, to get the rotations out. But that addresses his weaknesses. Similar to Kevin Reynolds, long in the legs, doesn't get down in his knees. So his second mark for skating skills, not, not as high as uh, a lot of the top skaters, and that's what tends to hold him back. Mind you, he's such a performer, you often forget about it. Oh. Okay, <laughs> he did a single sow cow, and everyone at home being able to reach back and do a triple toe after a flopping single in the air, that's, that's guts. Well, he's going to find himself in a huge battle for one of those U.S. Olympic spots. So much talent in the U.S. heading into this Olympic year. Well, 
while he's still not one of the best skaters in the competition, but he has improved a lot over the last 24 months. A wonderful attitude, and he's what skating needs every once in a while. Congratulations, Ryan. And when he lands those quads, two quads here, he becomes a player. We'll have the scores for Ryan Bradley when we return. Back to Skate America and the scores for American Ryan Bradley. Well, he had 112 for the free skate at the GP of France, his first competition where he finished ninth overall. This is going to wow. blow that out of the water. When you do two quads, those points just skyrocket. Season's best. And that will move him into first place ahead of Thomas Werner of the Czech Republic.